song can't stop, won't stop from the Brooklyn block. Hit him with strong flex I'm official like a ref Trying not to get it attacked Can we go hard on Brooklyn That's a promise Watch me like a can Cause it's my time Make you watch me like a can Cause it's my time Switch They can't guard me Especially side the Barclays Spin between crosses I can score with both hands Many flawless And I get to paint like an artist I'm a ball smith So you should respect my handle I see the big picture With the nets like a mantle In the future I see us as champs too And when we do I'ma do a Brooklyn dance move The stir that whole Millie rock like a fan do And that's a bet like my parlay on fan do choice every day what that looks like for you being steadfast keeping your nerves don't lose your shit with this group being tougher as a group A promise. Watch me like a can, cause it's my time. Make you watch me like a can, cause it's my time. Switch, they can't guard me, especially side the Barclays. Spin between crosses, I can score with both hands. Many flawless, and I get to paint like an artist. I'm a ball smith, so you should respect my handle. I see the big picture with the nets like a mantle. In the future, I see us as champs too. And when we do, I'ma do a Brooklyn dance move. The stir that whole Millie rock like a fan do. And that's a bet like my parlay on FanDuel. Choice every day, what that looks like for you. Yo, it's Big Fan Breezy with the. Uh, I'm just, I'm out here partying, man. I'm just partying right now. Yo, I listen. I think that J. Cole need to respond to Kendrick Lamar, man. He got to respond, man. He way too consistent of a rapper. You know, he do a lot of features. He, I love his music. I, I really don't think that Kendrick Lamar, how you say, 
think like he didn't do the same damage to J. Cole that he did to Drake. Drake responded on stage saying something, but he ain't freestyle. If Drake on stage would have freestyled something to respond to Kendrick on stage, I would have respected that handle, bro. But instead, he didn't respond. He didn't he didn't rap. He didn't respond in a song or a rap. He was really talking, and he was just, I ain't like that. Kendrick got the up on Drake. On 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 the on the competitive spirit, competitive level of hip hop, Kendrick put in that put push that he, he put in that work, and, and, and Drake ain't do nothing about it. J Cole, everybody expected him to drop. I, yo, how are you not thinking about J Cole response right now? What is his response? Is he writing rhymes down, balling it up, saying Nah, it ain't good enough? I think he in the lab right now. Nah, let me do it this way. Like, let me do it this way. Let me do it that way. J. Cole is going to respond. It's only a matter of when. I love J. Cole music. Middle child. Like, yo, I'm about to I'm about to recite some of his lyrics, man. I'm about to I, I'm about to recite some of his lyrics. <laughs> Listen, I don't care, yo, Leaf. If it's Leaf says what he says, he says if he do it, it's gonna be a feature, bro. That shit is even, bro. He gotta respond. It don't matter if it to me if it's a feature or a whole entire song. He gotta respond. All I know is Kendrick on a song was featured with Future, and the production was was Metro booming. And the name of the song is like that. What? Man, listen. I don't know what you're talking about. Shit was trash. I, I don't even know what you're talking about. Because realistically, J. Cole got to respond. It's only a matter of when. Drake responds, nah, bro. You got to, nah. I'm, I'm going to need to see more than that. But. Shout to Stephon Marbury. I had seen something with Isaiah Thomas saying that he should be a Hall of Famer because of the impact he has globally in China and the NBA, and NBA and abroad. And if Yao Ming is in the the NBA Hall of Fame because of how he, you know, graced basketball uh, uh, universally. Or, or, or globally, then, then the same for my fellow Brooklyn Knight, Stephon Marbury. I just wanna, you know what I'm saying? I just wanna, I just wanna say, yo, to Stephon Marbury. I wish she was on the Nets right now. You know what I'm saying? I wish she was on the Nets right now. If Stephon Marbury was on the Nets right now. I'm telling you, we will be hoping. Who play like Stephon Marbury right now? John Morant. You know what I'm saying? John Morant. Like, yo, Stephon Marbury got to be in the Hall of Fame, bro. You got to put him in there off of the strength of what he did for the Wolves. He made them a competitive team. High draft pick. He didn't let you down. Uh, every team that he played for, his numbers are impressive. Um, he's always been a talent, and teams could have built around him. It was I, I like that combination with him and Garnett, man. I, yo, that was that was nice to see, man. I ain't gonna lie, man. That was that kind of that basketball was was nice to see. I love how that happened. You know what I mean? I love how that happened. Um. I think Stephon Marbury deserved to be there, not only because of what he did for Minnesota, obviously, but just as a basketball player, his tenor as a, you know, player. They say that um, the average career of an NBA player is only four years or only four seasons, right? So 
it's fair to say that he played more than 40. I mean, he played more than uh, four seasons. You know, he was in the league for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen years. There's not a lot. How many? How many times can we say a player lasted in the NBA for sixteen years? But he still continued to play pro basketball for seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. He played 25 years of professional basketball. How how many? It's that might be the most ever. 25 years. 25 years of basketball. Who else played 25 years of basketball? Besides Stephon Marbury. I'll wait. My fellow Brooklyn Knight. Stephon Marbury straight out of Coney Island. Where they be wilding, as they would say. And he played big minutes. Rookie season, 67 games. Then 82 games. Uh, uh, then, then it was the lockout, I think, that season. It was 49, 18, 31. It was all wild back then. Then back to it. 74 games, 67 games, 82 games, 81 games, 81 games, 84. I mean, I say 84, my fault. <laughs> 34. 34 games. That was with Phoenix. That same season, he played with the Knicks. And, and that would equal 81 games that season. What are we talking about, bro? What, what, what 82 games again the next season, 60 games the next season, 74 games the next season. In the next then in the next season he had 24 games and then he I'm saying the season of his last season in the NBA he had 23 games. Contributed to the NBA. Come on, man. He was rookie of the year. Come on, man. Come on, man. Most improved player when he went to Phoenix. Everybody won in that trade. The Nets won and Phoenix won. He was the most improved player. But let, let's look at the stats. He went from 20 to 22 points. That's impressive. Definitely a difference. He, he went from shooting the ball. 17 times to 18, shy 19 times a game. He was hoping. It's what I'm trying to tell you. I like Stephon Marbury for the Hall of Fame. Yes. Let's get him in there. Yo, we could do that as Brooklyn. Everybody from New York, man. That's one thing we could at least, you know what I'm saying, agree upon. You feel me? Stefan deserved being a Hall of Fame. This is this is a no-brainer. Hands down, easiest pie to see that he deserves to be in the Hall of Fame. Oh man. What up though, man? Word. Leave uh, what up, what up, Freddie G? Freddie G, salute. Um, it wasn't like it was an 82 games a year stopping. I don't get it. Um, I don't know what you mean by that. Uh, Rebranded said shit is ghost shit. Yeah, man. He definitely impressive, bro. This dude is a legend on low key. You know, a lot of these players, they get overlooked because they didn't get a championship. And, you know, that's how you separate who's who and what's what a lot of times. But if you – the eye test, if you really watch the game, you watch Stephon Marbury play. He got a big buzz, too, in fucking high school, man. I, I was in Brooklyn, and my, the boys and girls high school, the school I went to, the 
team was nice in basketball, but we had to play his team. Like his school was Lincoln. I think I believe he went to Lincoln and they was known for basketball. All they used to talk about how good this dude was, bro. And he was nice. I don't know if I recall it vividly enough to say that I was that I was there or I heard about it. But they had something called the Kangaroo Classics where his school would play my school. And he was nice. He was hooping then. Like he I, I remember that. I don't remember the stats and the crossover. Yo, bro, this is years ago. I'm talking 20 years ago when he was in high school. You see, he got to the league in 1996 at 19, hooping. And back then, everybody didn't get to the league like after rookie or uh, uh, sophomore year. I don't think he played four years in college. Again, he was hooping. And, um, yeah, no, man, this guy deserves his flowers, man. This guy deserves flowers, man. I, I ain't going to hold you, man. I, I got to give it to him. Shout to, shout to Stephon Ma, baby, man. You deserve that. But, uh, yeah, man, that's all I came to say, man. The Nets got one win, you know. I know I know some of y'all, you know what I'm saying, want to talk about some other shit. I'm just watching things unfold. But let's hear from y'all, man. See how y'all feel about Stephon Ma, baby. You know what I mean? Oh, man. I, I try not to be messy. There's a lot of stuff going on in the world, and I ain't going to lie. I'm kind of like, man, I want that J. Cole song to drop. But I can't lie to you, man. Shit is kind of crazy right now. Word. Shit is wild out here. You know what I'm saying? Shit is going down like a slinky on the stairs. Oh, man. Listen, when Stephon Marbury played for this team, bruh, he averaged 23 points per game. Imagine again that from your point guard. Ben Simmons could never say he did that for the Brooklyn Nets. Stephon Marbury, man. When you think about the guards that we had, Stephon Marbury is probably one of the best guards that we had besides Jason Kidd. Is Stephon Marbury is top five Nets point guards ever. That's a fact. Stephon Marbury is top five uh, point guards ever for the Nets. That's a fact. That's not really saying nothing. That's not really saying much, bro. Saying that he deserved to be, I said all that to say, and to add to that, that he deserved to be in the Hall of Fame. No, nah, he definitely does deserve to be in the Hall of Fame. The only reason why is because it's the Basketball Hall of Fame. Not to, If it was the NBA Hall of Fame, he's not getting in. It's basketball the basketball, Hall, of, celebrate basketball Hall of Fame, bro. He played 25 years of professional basketball. Who yeah, the fuck yeah. did that besides him? I mean... There's playing 25 years of, of professional basketball, but Ooh. the only the, the only thing is is that the NBA is 82 games. You playing overseas, you play like once or twice a week, so it's not a, it's not saying. as difficult as as people make it seem. I ain't say it was difficult. I said it was 25 years. Who else did it? Nobody. I mean, as much as you say, as much as you may look at it the way you look at it, you still you can't contrast it to no player. You have no, to do a Google to research. The thing to is, we got to put it in perspective. Who else put 25 years of basketball, man? It's Stephon Marbury, man. We, we got to put it in perspective when we just – we can't just say that and then that's, that'll be the end of it, bro. We got to put it in the why. why yeah, no, a, bro, but look how many years it's, it's, he played for the – for the just the league. How many years, How many of players could say they played this long in, in the NBA? 16 years. I mean, it's well, twenty-five years, bro. Do you count in another couple five? No, I'm years. talking about just the NBA. Like he got nine years. You say put it in the context. He got nine years in China. He got sixteen years in the NBA. What we How many about? years that nigga? Um, the, the nigga that just retired from the Heat. Um, 
Udonis Haslam. You talking about Haslam? He wasn't even playing basketball. Stop. Exactly. But I mean, but that's still. not the same as what um he was doing in China. He won a championship, bro. Come on, we are not doing that. We are not I saying mean, that Correa, Marbury, and Haslam is the same. We are not doing that. I mean, what Vince? We Vince not played, doing that. Vince played twenty two years. LeBron is on year twenty one. Um, who else? Uh, Duncan played twenty years. Kobe played twenty years. I mean, twenty. I guess if you want to say twenty-five years, if you want to put you that saying, in one. You of, saying played, but you can't put Haslam in that. He didn't play. Okay, all right. So are we eliminate Haslam for that, bro. Like, I'm just right, saying, okay. like you said, the played, and I know okay, for sure. Okay, I'm eliminating them, bro. Like, all right, fine. But but at the same time, we saying somebody played twenty-five years of professional basketball. We got to we got to put it all in perspective because he played bro, half that's... those years in the NBA. And the other half of those years overseas where you don't even play. Nah, half, half, half is, is 12, 13 or something, 12 and a half. 16 to 9? 16 years in the NBA? Nine years in, in China? No, that's not half. That's a considerable amount more. 16 to 9. He played, he played what? 16 years in, um, in the NBA. Because he, he played from 96 to what? In the NBA, like 96 to like 20. 2012 or something like that mm, listen man all i'm saying is i don't know how many games they played i guess we, i guess we could look ain't nothing but a thing for us to look see see how many games he, he played uh 30 they that so that's that's valid they played 32 right, 30 it wasn't season he played 12 no no and then 36 36 36 yeah but shit, that ain't far off. A lot of these players they don't even be playing. And when you just contrast his 16 years to uh, uh, any of uh, those players that you made in 16 years, they that the fact that he played heavy minutes and he played big a lot of games is is the reason why I I, I, I would give him that credit for China. Like, yeah, he of course he could do what he did. At, you know what I'm saying? Play professional professional basketball there because he could do it here for for more time. And more games, so yeah, man. No, no, I, 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 I get, what, I get what you're saying. He belongs belong in the Hall of Fame. I yeah. get what you're saying, but the thing is, uh, like, when you put that in the ultimate perspective, bro, like 36 games, bro, that's not even a half of an NBA schedule. Like half of an NBA schedule is is four is what 41 games, bro. You talking about niggas is playing half as half the seasons overseas, half of an NBA season overseas. And, and and for nine years, bro, that's basically uh, two of those years equal one NBA year here. So that's really another five years. So basically, he kind of really realistically played twenty years, just like a lot of other niggas that like that played twenty years. Like, but now if you if you're like gonna something. be technical, if you're gonna be technical like that, then you gotta tally up the games they actually play out of those eighty-two games. You feel what I'm saying? Okay, okay. so I, so so we using LeBron, right? We we using uh, um Duncan. I mean, you use the best player, I guess. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I'm listen, <laughs> but these are the niggas that played 20 years, bro, already. Okay, got it, got it. We using LeBron. I think CP is about to go on 20 years, right in another year. Um, we using a uh, uh, Vince who who played over 20 years in the NBA. We using Duncan, we using Kobe, we using Dirk, we using like it's a whole bunch of them niggas, bro. We using Kareem. Who else we use We using uh, uh Malone, Stockton. They played about a good 19, 19 20 years. Like it's it's a considerable yes. amount of niggas, but the difference yeah. is they play all of those years in the NBA. Yeah, but again, even if you shot it and just say they don't count the uh, China, uh, which you should, but even if you say don't count it, 16 years in the NBA, nothing to sneeze at. It's not 20 seasons, no. But 16, yeah. That's definitely something you can respect when they say the average is four years. That's the right. average for like career life of an NBA player is four years. So if he he times that, you know what I'm saying? Like Yeah, on. yeah, it's it's a good amount of people that times that. And 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 20 25 years from now, the average years of a, a NBA player in the past uh years is probably going to be more years than that because niggas is lasting longer because they got good medicine and good health and all of that and all of this new stuff. But I mean, I guess now we got to go with 5 or 6 years 
for the average uh player uh, in, in the NBA. I mean, less than it's probably less than that for other sport professional sports, but in, in the long in the long haul, bro, like in terms of the totality of it, we take a nigga that's just taking thirty six games a year in China. That's basically two of those years would accumulate to one season in the NBA. That's just facts. No, but that's what I'm saying. All of those, they, they, again, they wasn't playing 82 out of 82. That's what I mean. Like, yeah, no, they probably played that, more than 36. But... Probably some of them seasons, they not even playing big minutes Listen, or, or, or they injured or some shit. They I, in and out I, just, I understand that, but that's not the case for like the niggas' names that I'm No, some up, of them are like, valid. Some of those, some of the names you named was valid as a, yeah, as a matter of fact. But again, they didn't. I'm saying that to say that, yeah, the seasons is short, but if the NBA, they're not playing 82 games and they're playing, what, probably 50 signing games, that's only 20 more games than his 36. You feel so, what I'm saying? I, yeah, that, that's that's true. I mean, if you... And it's not... It is, it is, a, it is a, a significant amount, but it's not 36 versus 82. You feel what I'm saying? Because that's technically... No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not the that. thing is, see, see, the thing is we misinterpreting. So all I'm saying is that the, if you're taking that 36 and accumulating it to a regular NBA uh, schedule, not even talking... I'm not talking about the niggas' names that I just mentioned. A regular NBA schedule, bro, like, it don't add up. It's going to take two of them seasons just to add up. And, I, and I'm being fair because... 36 and 36 is what? 72. It's not 82. So you should still 10 short. So I was being light. I light about it when I when I bought it up. Realistically, niggas is playing like 70 something games at the most or 60 something, 60 something at the most. Now that they got the 65 game incentive, 68 7 to 70 something games because they ain't going to be nobody for, playing. Except for Braun. I think Braun, he got some type of exception. You gotta yeah, be yeah, Bron, yeah. Bron Bron got some type of exception because ever since he got to LA, he only started playing uh, um like 55 50 something games anyway. So the thing is, Bron Bron already put in years from like 2003 to 2018. That's about a good 15 years playing 70 something games on average. So he been and, and with no injury, so like he missed on. He only started getting injured when he got to LA because niggas get old. You know how that is. So I mean, Duncan, if you if you take Duncan when he when he got older, or Kobe when he got the Achilles injury, Kareem when he got older, it's, it's a bunch of players, bro. Like Vince, or when he when he stopped playing real started minutes and shit. When he but I, I think I think minutes. Vince deserved to be in the um, Hall of Fame too. Vince you know, gonna get in the yeah. Vince gonna get in the hold on, hold on. Let me let's let's. I'm glad you said that. I, I'm about to dip, but I wanted to say before we leave. I'm glad you said that. Um, shout to Lee, subscribe to his page. I, I want Vince to to take that just real next step and be assistant coach, man. Be assistant coach with the Brooklyn Nets, man. I I, I don't I don't please. Think, no, I, I I don't. The reason why I say no is because I, I don't I, want I, his, I don't want I don't want him having that. I don't. I don't want him having that bad juju on him, bro. Because the thing is, it's a, like, it's a lot of things that ain't gonna go your way right away. When you like nine times out of ten, when you're a great player, they ain't really gonna listen to you like that, bro. Like most of the most of the, uh, know, the coaches, man. most of the coach, most of the coaches that's in the NBA is is uh point guards because they they see the game from totally different lenses. They know how to throw entry passes. When they play back in the uh, in the nineties, and it, look at it, bro. Like uh, Steve Kerr, look at Mark Jackson, uh, um, point guard, uh, 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 ball head ass Jock Vaughn, point guard, Kevin Ali, point guard. All, yeah, all bro. I, I'm not. I'm not saying. I'm not. I'm not saying that th those aren't facts. What I am saying is, culture wise, he's someone that we would need. But I think he's comfortable, man. He got the, the denouncing gig, and yeah, he's he just in that spot. Chilling, like, like why? Why leave heaven? You know what I mean? Like, I don't yeah. think he would. But like, he she would be stressed as an assistant coach with the Brooklyn Nets to that go is. from calling the games to try to actually win the games. I, I don't. He just got here. You know what I'm saying? So I don't. I, I, for him, I don't think that's would be good for him. As that a won't. fan, I would be geeked to see it, but I, I I really don't see it happening. I think he's really in a good place right now in his life, and he just not fucking that up for nobody. Like he keeping his job. Like 
He announced the game. Ain't he good? He be having stories when he be, you know what I'm saying? When he announcing the game. I be, I be um, um, tuned in. I be tuned in. I definitely be tuned in, man. Him and he, he and him and I and equal. Man. I was listening to your um stream last night, though. I was I listened to yours like the uh the first half. I was yeah, listening. Like, you called, I, you called I, a good I, game. I heard you kept mentioning Wofford. I was like, oh, why Wofford having a good game? Why Wofford was going um he was having he was having a night um attacking the basket, obviously Clowney. Obviously, who we wanted to see more of since the Milwaukee game. Um, he, he played pretty good. He was an active shooter, man. He wasn't hitting as much, but he did a lot of things great um, in that game as well. He attacked the basket, rebound, you know, showed on defense. He did a lot of things. But uh, obviously, man, we, we got more work to do. Yeah, no. Nah. We got more work to do, though. But, but we got a whole lot more work to do, man, in terms of not just develop. We got our hands in so, in so many different baskets. We got our hand in the development basket with yeah. the young team. Yeah, yo, I ain't, I ain't tripping my fault. I was on mute. I, my, that was my fault. Um, But, yeah, no, again, I addressed everything. I want y'all to subscribe to the Leaf page. Subscribe to this page. Shout out to the members of this page. Jack City, Jelly O, Big Dog Hunting, Two Guy Go, SRK, AWNC, Enterprise, uh, my guy Joey BK, New York Nets, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to all of them. Yeah. Shout out to Leaf again. Like I said, subscribe to his page. Shout out to my guys. And again, I think J. Cole will respond. Uh, I don't know if Drake will respond. And Stefan Marbury, yes, he should be he in will the, go Hall to the Hall of Fame. Fame. Yes, he should. He, he would definitely go to the Hall of Fame along with Vince because, um, it's the totality of basketball in their career, so they count college, they count. All of that stuff, man. Everything, yeah. man. So, like, it's a whole bunch of things. Also, I wanted yeah. to mention before we get up out of here, um, yeah. the feds just uh raided uh Diddy's third crib, um, down in down in uh, uh Miami. Yeah, they, yeah. They you already know, finished we, with the we, spot in um in LA uh, and on another one of foot, but then um Diddy was supposed to land in the Bahamas, yeah. but um his plane had landed in the Bahamas, but he wasn't there. So I, I guess they was looking for him. Man. They 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 looking at uh. They looking at a trafficking charge, uh, uh, some something of that nature, man. They said Prince Terry or somebody else that came forward. Whole bunch of whole bunch of sketchy stuff going on, man. I ain't really gonna get into it, but yeah, um, we ain't. Also, I ain't. I, I ain't even tripping off none of that. You know what I'm yeah, saying? yeah, 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 definitely. Um, a whole bunch but of yeah, sketchy. yeah. Shout so, out to um, shout out to JT. This is JTV. Follow him on YouTube, um, uh, on uh, Apple Music and on Spotify. Um, that's YouTube, Apple Music, and on Spotify. I always shout his shit out too, man. And um, shout out to Big Priest, um, also, and shout out to BK and Y Hoops. Yeah, sure. man. Uh, again, man, it's all love. And I, I, like I said, man, Nets fans is the best fans. We'll be back with another one probably later tonight. Uh, and yeah, help me and Jay get this song played by the Nets, man. Hopefully. It helped facts, them play facts, better. facts. Let's get this heat. Let's get this heat on. Like, shout out everybody in BK.
back on defense, hit him with strong flex. I'm official like a rep, trying not to get attacked. Can we go hard on Brooklyn? That's a promise. Watch me like a cam, cause it's my time. Make you watch me like a cam, cause it's my time. Switch, they can't guard me, especially side the Barclays. It's been twin crosses, I can score with both hands. Many flawless, and I get to paint like an artist. I'm a boss smith, so you should respect my handle. I see the big picture with the nets like a mantle. In the future, I see us as champs too. And when we do, I'ma do a Brooklyn dance move. The stir that call Millie Rock like a fan do. And that's a bet like my parlay on fan do. B R O O K L Y N. B R O O K L Y N.